In today's video, I would like to show you how you can perform OSINT on a private and a public Instagram account. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And disclaimer, this is only OSINT. We are just gathering publicly available information about an Instagram account. So I'm not encouraging anybody to do any illegal activities. So with that being said, let's start our video. Now I will start with a public Instagram account. I will start with my profile, CyberSudo. And the first thing you can notice is that I have a profile picture with my face. Now we can do a reverse image search as we have done in a previous video. You'll find also the link, um, I think right here in the video. So click on it and you will be redirected to another video. So. To download the Instagram profile picture, you can just copy the link or the URL and then you can go to a website like in downloader and then enter the username of the person that you want to download their profile image and then you can download the image. After downloading the image, you can go to Google Lens or Google Images and then drag and drop the image that you have downloaded and then you might be able to find other accounts that are associated to this person. So in this example, we can see that we have found a YouTube channel. If I clicked on find image source, I might find something else. So here we can see my academy on Teachable and my website as well, CyberSudo and my YouTube channel. You can obviously go to FaceCheck, which I've also discovered in a previous video and go to Yandex, Bing, etc. Another thing you can do is by looking if there is other accounts that this person has because they might have another information on different platforms which might be beneficial to us. So in this case, we are going to use username OSINT, which I've also discovered in a previous video. You will find its link in the description. But we will do this right now. In this case, I'm gonna copy the username and then just go to google.com. And a basic username search would be in URL. We will use this Google dork in URL and then the username. And this will look if the username or this text is in any URL in the web or at least in Google. So we can see that we were able to find my YouTube channel my Instagram account, my X account, my TikTok account, and some post from Instagram. So this is something you can do, but if you want to do an extensive username search, please watch the link that you'll find it in the description. Now, the third thing I would like to show you is looking if Google or any other search engine has indexed any comments or public comments of this profile. Now, please keep in mind that this will work on a private and a public account, and we will see how we can do this. So we will be relying on Google Dorks to do this. So I'm gonna say, or I'm gonna go to Google first, and I'm gonna say site Instagram.com. And this will tell Google to only search in Instagram.com. And then I'm gonna add the username of the person that I'm looking for. And in this case, it's gonna be CyberSudo. I'm gonna hit enter. And we can see that we have my Instagram profile. And we can see that we have two posts, right? Or three posts in total. But we were not able to find any public comments or any public mentions. Another thing you can do is add an at before the username if somebody mentioned this profile, so you will get it. In this case, we have not got anything. Now, let's try this method on a private Instagram account. So here we have a private Instagram account, and this man has 181 posts. And I believe that this person is also online active, which is very important because if the person didn't comment at all, then nothing will be indexed by Google and you won't be able to find anything in Google. So you want to make sure to look in more or in many search engines like Yandex or Bin. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that we have done with my username. So I'm going to replace the username here. So here we can see that we have two search results. And the first one is of a post 
I can open it and this is a public post and we will be only able to see their comments on public post. You won't be able to see their comments on private post. So keep this in mind. So what I can do is basically control F to search for the name of the person. And we can see that this person has mentioned his friend or maybe his family member, which is um, Darren Settle, I believe. So let's have a look at the second search result. I'm going to open the link and we can see that he made a comment which seems to be that this is part of his family. Now, please use this dork in many search engines. In this case, I'm going to also test it on Yandex to see if there are any different search results. So I'm going to add the exact same dork and we can see that we have three search results. I'm going to open all of them and we can see here that he also has a public comment, which we haven't seen in Google. And that's why it's very important to look in many uh, search engines. Now, the next thing that I would like to show you is how you can get the user ID, which is also very, very important. For example, if the person has changed their username, their profile picture, they have deleted all the posts they have posted, then it might be hard to trace them back. And that's why having a, a user ID is very important because it's a unique ID that each Instagram user has and it cannot be changed. So by having the user ID, you will be able to look which profile or username they currently have in case they have changed all of their information. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this on my profile. We can go to a website that you'll find it in the CyberSudo OSINT toolkit. And you just have to add the username of the person. There is obviously a manual method, but this is going to take time. And I think this method is way easier. But if all of the websites are not working anymore, then it's very important to also know the manual method. But I don't want it to make to the video uh, very long. So I'm going to add the username and then solve the captcha. And you can see that this is my Instagram ID. Now say that this person has changed all of their information, including their profile image, their username, everything. And you want to look for their current username. So to do this, we're going to use the exact same website, but they have a different page. And all I have to do is just to copy the Instagram ID and put it in here and then solve this and hit on search. And we will find the current username right here so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching until now there are more methods and techniques that you can use to get more information about an instagram profile if you would like to watch these videos or see how you can do this don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like you can try these methods on your instagram profile and see what information you can get and tell me in the comment section what uh, you have got and that's it and i'll see you soon